a problem in this country. Middle America is too united while the left runs away with this country. Gotta be kidding me. Uniting. Try to have prayer in school and see how united the Democrats are. The Catholic chaplains were trying to read a letter from the archdiocese. The Obama administration told them they couldn't. So now you're infring infringing on people's religious rights and their freedom of speech. What about uniting then? Make no mistakes, folks. We are in the middle of a civil war. Whether there's shooting involved or it is pure words and lawsuits and public policy, we are in the midst of a civil war. We are fighting to determine what this country will look like, what this country will be. We are experiencing what Europe went through 20 years ago. Absolutely positively to the issue, we are experiencing what those countries went through. You've got people from other countries coming into this country illegally, trying to remake this country into their crap hole country that they fled from for all the right reasons. But they want to remake this country in that image because they despise your country that they needed to come to as a refuge. And every generation you have in every country, a group of people that believe in this utopian state of government control and everything will be fair because they don't like winners and losers. So they don't want to have a game. We'll just give everybody a trophy. And that's a metaphor for life, and that's a failure. People who grew up in those cultures come to this country because there's opportunity. And there will always be, and there is now a vastly growing number of people who are so lazy that if given the opportunity, they will live off the sweat of everyone else's brow and make excuses for it. And now they have a whole cottage industry of people who will tell you you're a bad person if you don't want to pay for those fat, lazy people. The problem is, everybody in America is afraid to say something about it. For whatever stupid, lame, silly, nonsensical reason, because you've been beaten down, because you've been mow mowed for too long, because you've been told you'll lose your job or your clients or somebody will be mad or you'll be the turd in the punch bowl, whatever it is, we're all sitting quietly while our country's going to hell in a handbasket. Nobody seems to care what's going to happen to our kids. We were handed the greatest republic in the history of mankind, and what in the hell are we doing with it? We've got the extreme fringe elements running it. And their buddies are out in the middle of the street crapping on cop cars, throwing urine and poop on the cops, cutting the cops, shanking the cops, shooting the White House, throwing smoke bombs around. And if you bother to go out in a nice, peaceful gathering meeting on Saturday because you've just had enough and hold a banner that says freedom and liberty, they call you racist. And we're supposed to sit by? No, we're not sitting by. We need to stop sitting by. We need to get pissed off. Because the left's been pissed off for a long time. I watch the left. They steamroll Americans. They steamroll them in the classroom. They steamroll them in the household. They steamroll them in the, in, uh, in the courtroom. They steamroll them on TV because they run around ranting and raving and screaming and mad and everybody's afraid to scream back at them. Well, I'll scream back at them because I love this country more than they do. Frankly, most of them want to crap on this country, not just a police car. These are the people that want to steal from the hardworking people. These are the people that want to tell industry how to run their industry when they've never been in industry and wouldn't have anything to do with it. These are the people that want to see pay raises for government bureaucrats while watching the private sector being destroyed. These are the people that won't allow a pipeline that would have 50,000 new jobs tomorrow, but will take a trillion dollars of the working class people's money for shovel-ready jobs that three years later are not. These are the people that have added to the unemployment rate. These are the people that have more people nursing at the teat of government, from welfare checks to food stamps. These are the people who think that's progress. No, I will not sit by. I'm not happy. I'm pissed off. Barack Obama's not a nice guy. Barack Obama's not doing the best he can. Barack Obama did not inherit a bad country. He inherited the greatest nation on earth. And every single policy he has enacted has been a blunderbuss. It's been an absolute and utter failure. And not only has it been a failure, there are victims for what he's done. He has rewarded certain constituencies with more food stamps and more welfare, green industries, Fisker Industries. Great example. Fisker Industries, Fisker Automotive, the maker of the $100,000 electric luxury cars. This is how we're going to save the earth, folks. Everybody's going to drive a $100,000 electric luxury car has announced massive layoffs, because guess what? Nobody wants a piece of crap. If you're going to spend $100,000, you want a hoss. 
You want a car that'll haul butt, not an electric car. The company received a $529 million federal loan guarantee and decided to spit in the face of America by opening a plant in Finland. Yeah, that was great, wasn't it? You gave them over half a billion dollars. Whatever happened to Solyndra? Whatever happened to all these industries? And General Electric's up there uh, uh, preaching to us about how they make the beer or they keep the beer cool. They have sent all their jobs over to China. Barack Obama is the ultimate crony capitalist. He and Al Gore are going to get rich because the minute Barack Obama leaves office, I can guarantee you the favors he's done for the green industry, just like Al Gore, he's going to become a billionaire overnight. And that's why he's doing exactly what he's doing, rewarding those people. This isn't a fair playing field. This is a redistribution of wealth to the poorest and the richest because they're both his friends. And that goofy Warren Buffett walking around with glasses that don't fit his old fat, smug, pug face telling us we need to pay more in taxes when he's 10 years behind and he's a billionaire. If he wants to pay more in taxes, he can make a charitable contribution to the government that's not tax deductible, but he won't do it. And neither will Bill Gates, and neither will any of those other hypocrites. And I'm tired of them being profiled as man of the year and a nice guy. Sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of the people with extreme agendas claiming that anybody who pushes back against what they're doing in this country is somehow angry or hateful. Well, I'm hateful and angry. I'm pissed off. I'm watching my country go to hell, and I'm watching us repeat the, the foibles of Fidel Castro and Mao Zedong, and I'm watching people that hold those people up as heroes running this country. Yeah, I'm not going to do that anymore, and I'm not going to make nice because I don't want these people to be my friends. I don't want their approval. I don't want them to like me. They're not going to name me man of the year or father of the year. I raised my own child, unlike these fools. I guarantee you Jesse Jackson's won man of the year or father of the year five times, and he's got a kid in L.A. that he won't support. I'm tired of hearing how great these people when they're not. I am sick and tired of hearing that Barack Obama's a nice guy doing the best he can. I've seen this little checklist of people, all you little, all you little sheep, all you cattle who run around. Just admit, I'm a greenie weenie. I'm a vote for him no matter what. I'm black. 98% of us are going to vote for him no matter what. I'm Hispanic, and I've been told this is how I'm supposed to vote. Most people out there don't think for themselves, and that means that for those of you who do, you need to understand what you are up against. You need to go to one Democratic Party event. Every single one of you who thinks, well, I'm not a Republican because they're hateful. Every single one of them. You need to go to one Democratic Party event. You ought to see the coalition of people that run that party. And before you go voting against the Republicans, because they're hateful, they're all too Christian fundamentalist, you go to one of their gatherings and see if you fit in with there. You wear a gas mask because they stink. You're going to want to you're gonna want to spray Febreze on the whole group of them. You've never seen such a group of vile, dirty, nasty, filthy people with radical, angry agendas, mad at the world. You want to see hate? You go gather around them Democrats, because I've seen them. There's your hate right there. Whole group of hate mongers.